There are two ways to generate a QR code in a C-Sharp Windows Forms application. The first way is to generate a QR code and save it on your computer as an image or PNG file. Let me show you an example. When I click this button, download QR code, an image file for our QR code will be created, like this. The second way is to generate a QR code and display it in the picture box. I will show you another example. When I click this button, generate QR code, it will generate a QR code and display it in the picture box. Do you want to know how it works and how to do it? I will teach you step by step, so make sure you watch this video until the end, to avoid missing anything. But before we start, welcome to Kadev Tips, your ultimate destination for programming tutorials and all things code related. If you're passionate about learning to code or improving your programming skills, you're in the right place. But before we dive into today's programming tutorial, I'd like to invite you to become a part of our growing community. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of programming knowledge and stay updated with the latest tutorials we release. So, go ahead and subscribe now, and let's get coding. First, create a new project. Click on File, then New, and select Project. In the pop-up window, choose C-Sharp and then Windows Forms Application. Rename your project to C-Sharp QR Code Generator. Once you're done, click OK. Adjust the form according to your design preference. Next, in the Solution Explorer, right-click on your project name, then select Manage NuGet Packages. Go to the Browse tab, and search for QR Coder. This is the package we need to install on our project to generate QR codes. Click on the first result, then click the Install button on the right side, to add the QR Coder package to your project. A pop-up window will appear, simply click OK to proceed. Once the installation is complete, go back to the Installed tab. Make sure you can see the QR Coder package listed here. This confirms that the QR Coder package has been successfully added to our project. Now that we're done, let's return to our main form. Next, add a button to the form. Resize it as needed, and then change the label to download QR code. Now, let's add some code to the button. Double click on the button to access its click event. At the top of your file, add the following using directive. Using QR coder. Now go back to the button's load event and insert the following code. I've already prepared the code for you. First, we define the text that we want to encode in the QR code. In this case, the text is set to, this is a test QR code. Next, we create a new instance of QR code generator which is responsible for generating our QR code. After generating QR code data, we create a QR code object and convert it into a bitmap image using the getGraphic method. Now that we have QR code image, we save it as a PNG file. Make sure to change the path to the location where you want to save the QR code image on your computer. Finally, we confirm the success of the operation with a message box that says, successfully downloaded QR code. We're done. Now, go back to the design view and let's run the program. Click the download QR code button. The message confirms that the QR code was successfully downloaded. Let's check the actual file in the downloads folder to make sure it's there. Yes, it is. Now, let's open it to view the QR code. Let's scan our QR code to display the text it contains. To verify the text in your QR code, open a browser and visit any free online QR code scanner. Upload the generated QR code image. You will see that the text encoded in our QR code matches the text we set in our program. We have completed the first part, 
which involves generating a QR code and saving it as a PNG file. Next, I will show you how to generate a QR code and display it in a picture box. Add a new button and change its label to generate QR code. Add a picture box object, this is where the QR code will be displayed. Click on the picture box and go to the properties. Change the border style from none to fixed single. Change the size mode from normal to stretch image. Next, let's add code to our generate QR code button. Double click on the button to get started. At the bottom of your code, create a new method called generate and display QR code with a string parameter. Next, go to the top, copy the following code, and paste it into the new method. Next, add the following line of code at the bottom, picture box 1, dot, image, equals, QR code image. Finally, call the generate and display QR code method, within the generate QR code buttons click event passing the string parameter. This string will be encoded and displayed in the QR code when scanned. Let's go ahead and run the program again. Now, let's click the Generate QR Code button. As you can see, we have successfully generated the QR code and displayed it in the picture box. But here's a question. Can I put link in the QR code instead of just text, so that when it's scanned, it automatically directs to that link? The answer is, yes. I will show you how. Let's return to our code. I'll change the text from, hello world, to a link. I'll use https colon slash slash www.google.com. Now, when the QR code is scanned, it will take you directly to the Google website. Let's try it. Let's click the Generate QR Code button. Here's the QR code. I will scan it using my phone to check if it works. Yes. It's working perfectly. And that's it for today's tutorial on generating QR codes in C Sharp. I hope you found this video helpful and easy to follow. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with any questions you might have. For more tutorials like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.